All right, so while doing some testing on the BMPCC and BMMCC, I noticed something rather interesting that you might already know about. The fact that ProRes actually gives you less artifact than RAW. Because of the lower amount of detail, you actually get less artifacting on the image, which can be good in some lighting situations. Actually, in the pocket testing, the sun went behind a cloud at one moment, but and the image is kind of darker, but it, it's still, you can see a lot more artifacting under the eyes. Not so much on the eyebrows, because it wasn't getting the hard highlights, but under the eyes, you can still see really bad artifacting. The fact that the ProRes file has less detail actually helps in the image having less artifacting. Look at the beard under the eyes. When you see it, the raw file in the beard and on the eyebrows and on the eyes, you can actually see. And the ProRes file is actually pretty dang sharp. Like it's as sharp as you're going to need it to be in a finished product. And when I zoom in 300%, you can see that the artifact on the raw file is actually way worse. Same thing on the pocket footage. Like I said before, even though the image is darker and it's a little more evenly lit, which should be better, you can still see that under the eyes, it's really bad. I always saw Cinema DNG as the superior codec, no doubt about it. I never bothered shooting ProRes and I actually learned that ProRes can be useful in a lot of situations. And the difference in sharpness and dynamic range is almost negligible in a finished product. So yeah, let me know what your experience has been with different codecs and how you would use them in different situations and the pros and cons of one versus the other. And yeah, that's it for now, guys. Take care and see you later.